Growing up is natural and it's new. If it hasn't already started happening to you, it will start happening in the coming years. Every girl has her own built-in timing. Growing up is full of brand new experiences for every girl. Because it comes with lots of questions, questions about your developing body and the responsibilities that go with it, this is a presentation for girls just your age. It may not answer all your questions, that's what parents are for, but it's a start. Knowing some of what to expect can help you sail through the growing up years more smoothly and with confidence. Girls around your age may begin to experience some important changes, inside and out. Most of these changes occur gradually. There's plenty of time. Still, it's best to be prepared to know what's coming up so you won't be surprised or worried. And of course, all through this natural process, you will still be you. You're about to enter a new and exciting part of your life. As you grow, your body will undergo significant physical changes. These normal developments are part of life and prepare you for adulthood, marriage, and motherhood. Just think, all girls eventually grow up into women and then can get married and become mothers and even grandmothers. That's wonderful. And along with physical growing up, come more personal responsibilities and important decisions that will affect your future. That's exciting. Don't be embarrassed to talk to your mom about these things. She's been through it all before and is excited for you. Puberty is a word used to describe the first stage of children growing toward becoming adult men and women. Both girls and boys go through puberty, but in some very different ways. With puberty begins those physical changes you're going to hear about next. Every girl has her own special timetable as to when these various changes occur, sometime between the ages of 9 and 18. These changes happen on their own. You don't have to do anything. Sometimes they happen to you at about the same time as they happen to your mother or an older sister. Generally, girls start the process of puberty before boys do. In puberty, there are going to be some external or outside changes, as well as internal or inside changes to your body. One change you can expect on the outside is breast development. You should know that it's normal for your chest and your nipples to begin to feel tender as your breasts start to form. Your mom can help you decide when to start wearing a bra, both for protection and for modesty. It is normal for girls to grow here at different rates and to be all different sizes. Another change that often occurs is curvier hips. Yes, your body will start to change shape. Instead of having a little girl's body, you will begin to see in the mirror a body more like your mother's. Still another external change you will notice is hair growing in new places. You'll find hair growing under your arms. And you'll find hair growing in your most private place, your pubic area. This is normal. All women grow hair in these places. Internal or inside changes to the body during puberty have to do with the female reproductive system. This includes glands, hormones, and menstruation. Again, these changes are all in preparation for growing up and becoming an adult woman, a wife, and a mother. The pituitary gland located at the base of the brain is the big boss gland that tells all the other endocrine glands to get to work. Glands produce cells called hormones that are circulated through the body affecting the activities of other cells. In puberty the pituitary gland triggers these hormones that bring about the natural female changes. It's like an alarm clock going off 
the body's music waking up parts of your body that haven't been needed yet. For example, your ovaries, where eggs are stored in preparation for having babies when you're grown up and married, are affected by these glands and hormones. Let's learn how. Here is a diagram of parts of the female body located in the lower torso that are needed for having babies, including the ovaries, eggs, fallopian tubes, uterus, and vagina. Girls have everything they need in preparation for becoming a wife and mother, and the body begins to practice for this well in advance. In puberty, the body is working to establish its natural healthy rhythm. This is called the menstrual cycle. Listen carefully to why girls menstruate and what menstruation is. What happens is an ovary releases an egg. The egg travels through a fallopian tube into the uterus. Meanwhile, the uterus, a small but strong muscular organ, prepares for the egg by building up its lining called the endometrium. The rich lining gets muscled out naturally through the vagina in the form of a discharge made of blood and nutrients, all because it is not needed to make a baby. Don't worry, the discharge itself will start flowing slowly. A little may get on your panties, they can be washed, but this will let you know your period is starting that month you'll have time to put on a pad. Yes, once a month for a few days, you'll have to wear what we call sanitary protection. The menstrual flow is discreetly and modestly caught and disposed of by using what we call sanitary protection products. We'll talk about them in a minute. Your period happens once a month, around every 23 to 40 days and it lasts about three to six days. Every girl's body has its own timing, and you will get to know yours. Among us girls, we call the menstrual cycle getting or having my period, because this is a special time or period of the month that requires some extra attention to hygiene. This information is probably surprising and new to you. It should be but someday it will be routine. Let's do a short review of the menstrual cycle. In the premenstrual diagram at the bottom, we see that during the month, an egg cell is released from one of the ovaries, ovulation, and the uterine lining thickens. The left diagram shows what happens after the egg goes through the fallopian tube to the uterus. The uterus then cleans itself out, shedding the unused lining through the vagina. This is the menstrual flow, or a period. In the diagram on the right, we see that after a period, or postmenstrual, the uterus goes back to its original state with its thin lining. Your period is nothing to be worried or concerned about. After all, it naturally happens to every normal, healthy female for a few days every month. By the way, you won't have periods all your life. Women have periods until all the eggs stored in their ovaries are used up, which happens sometime when they are grandmothers. As you anticipate your first period, the onset of menstruation, remember your flow will begin slowly but without much warning. So, how can you be prepared? What if your period starts away from home? Easy. Before your periods start, you will want to keep some sanitary supplies handy. Have them ready in a few private places, such as in a drawer and in a zippered pocket or purse in your backpack or locker. Girls start their periods at different times and ages throughout puberty. You never know. Everyone is unique in this way. When yours starts, You'll want to tell your mom, but that's about all. This is a special private event we don't go around announcing. Now let's talk about sanitary supplies. There is a way to catch and dispose of the material that the uterus sheds during your period. No problem. 
our modern world has come up with great solutions to this common, delicate, and private event. There are varieties of disposable paper products made just for your period to choose from that do the job, available in any grocery store. These are soft little pads that stick to your panties. No one can tell. Besides pads, there are internal sanitary supplies that slide into the vagina called tampons. You'll want to ask your mom about those. All these products are to be changed and properly disposed of often, so you can feel fresh and comfortable during your period. Pads can be folded and wrapped in toilet paper and tossed in the bathroom wastebasket. Easy to put on, easy to change, and easy to throw away. Some girls have a heavy flow, some a light flow, some range from heavy to light. You can find out what products work best for you. After your first period, you will want to start tracking your menstrual cycle so you can be watching for it and prepare by having sanitary supplies on hand. Taking this responsibility upon yourself is part of growing up. You may want to use a calendar and each month mark the day your period starts, how long it lasts, and when it stops. It's helpful to mark the day you expect your next period to start too. You can do your best to know when your period should be coming and having essential supplies ready. It is not uncommon for some girls, but not all, to experience a degree of discomfort during their period. These discomforts may include bloating, backache, headache, and cramps. If you experience cramps, you should know that this is merely that strong muscle of the uterus working to cleanse itself of unneeded material. There are several ways to ease these discomforts. Again, not all girls experience discomfort, but some do. Either way is normal. Sometimes a nap will do the trick. A warm bath, a heating pad applied to your lower abdomen, exercise, all may help. Your mother is the best person to go to if you feel you need a pain reliever. If you have any discomfort, you should know that it's only temporary. When puberty starts and the changes we've been talking about begin, the body's glands become more active, producing more oils and sweat. This can grow bacteria and cause grown-up body odor. But don't worry, stepping up your bathing, using soap and shampoo, wearing clean clothes and underwear, and using deodorant every day can prevent all that. And don't forget to brush and floss your teeth, or if you're unable during the day, swish out your mouth with water after eating. At this new time of life, probably without anybody telling you, you will find that your body needs a little more care than it used to. Good hygiene habits, meaning keeping yourself clean and fresh, are another responsibility of growing up. Besides keeping your body clean and fresh, all these new changes can be adjusted to and helped along by more basic good health habits. These include going to bed on time, eating right, and avoiding too many sweets and greasy foods. Good health habits like these should start now and continue for the rest of your life. Every teenager knows about the dreaded zits. Even one is a nuisance. Sad to say, zits or facial pimples or blemishes are not uncommon during puberty. Still, there are ways to prevent or minimize the dreaded zits. Those basic good hygiene and health habits, including washing your face morning and night, Keeping your hair squeaky clean, eating right, and drinking a lot of water can help. Also, because hands are constantly picking up germs, trying not to touch your face too much can prevent zits. For extreme problems, there are special skin care products and treatments available. Because puberty is such an adjustment, it is not uncommon for girls to experience emotions and feelings they haven't had before. These can take the form of feeling happy one minute and sad the next, or feeling full of energy one day and feeling extra tired the next. This may well be caused by your glands releasing the hormones we talked about. 
try to remember that your hormones are regulating and will eventually balance out. Life won't always feel like an emotional roller coaster ride. Also, growing up comes with new feelings and ideas that haven't occurred to you before. One example might be that you feel more modest and want privacy when you're dressing. Another might be that you feel like being alone sometimes. Also, sometime during puberty, girls start realizing that boys are different and interesting. Even if we experience hormone imbalances and mood swings, unlike animals, we human beings can make choices about how we think and act. Despite inconveniences, you can decide to be happy, kind, and helpful, and keep working at it. What is maturing? It's growing up in every way, and now you know how it begins, with those changes to your body that happen naturally. And now you also know that with those changes come new responsibilities. We might say growing up or maturing involves four different areas, like the four legs of a table keeping it balanced physical, emotional, social, and mental. We've talked mostly about the first two. With those physical changes come new personal responsibilities for your own health, cleanliness, and modesty. With those emotional changes comes the opportunity to make good choices about how to handle new feelings. All through your life you will find there are many areas in which to work at becoming a more mature person. Now you know what happens to every girl as she begins to grow up and the important responsibilities that go with maturing. Because you are a girl who will grow to womanhood and very possibly get married and become a mother, you can begin now to take very good care of your God-given body, which has the amazing potential of procreating precious and unique human beings. Growing up is natural and new and also important. What can be more important than beginning the journey to becoming a young woman in preparation for adulthood, marriage, and family? But for now, those big, wonderful events are a long way off. There are plenty of great experiences between now and then that you don't want to rush. This is just the beginning, a time when you start to take charge of yourself in many new ways, developing good habits and making good choices that will affect the rest of your life.